Hello and welcome to CGD Games. My name's Lee, aka CGD, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have another look at Fernbus Simulator. We're going to do a bit of a sprinter run, and we are travelling from Flensburg all the way down to Schwerin. Uh, we're a nice little run in the sprinter, as you can see there. So, really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are too. You'll be coming along for the full journey. This will be an unedited video so we'll, hopefully it won't take too long and i won't keep you um busy for too long either so we'll jump in and we'll get this bad boy started so i think we've already done a sprinter video on the channel but i really enjoyed driving this it was a lot of fun she's a nippy little beast and uh yeah, so I just thought, why not do it again and uh, let you guys come along for the ride. Uh, so I'm going to put some side lights on. I'm going to whip the old handbrake off. Uh, we'll put some climate control on as well for when we pick our passengers up. And I think that is us. Good to go, ladies and gentlemen. So off we go. And as I always say, let's make like a shepherd and uh, get the flock out of here. And uh, we'll be on our way to pick up our first passengers once the satellite navigation lets us know which way we are going. So it looks like we are taking a left. Oh, I do get nervous coming out of these junctions, you know. I don't want to screw up already. Is he going to be ever so kind? Wow, wow, wow. AI actually being cooperative on Fernbus Simulator there, ladies and gentlemen. And we got it caught on camera. Wow. So, off we go as we leave Flensburg. Um, I just, I, I, it's very difficult now. I've unlocked all the map. Well, when I say unlocked all the map, I've unlocked all the stops. And it's very difficult to try and pick journeys. Now, I sat here tonight, shall I do another real route? Shall I not do another real route? Uh, but I thought, no, I'll mix it up. I'll do a little job in the sprinter. Makes a nice change uh, from driving the large coaches and gives people a chance as well who've not seen it in action another chance or their first chance of seeing the bus in action as well so we've got a green light we are on our way again the fingers crossed the first stop isn't too far away quite busy here in flensburg isn't it a little bit of a micro pause there unfortunately i do hope that some of these um little minor bugs and some of these frame rate issues are ironed out quite soon we are speeding just a touch i'm going to stick cruise control on just so we stick to that 50 and we don't speed not that we've got any passengers on to complain to us at the moment but it all counts towards the xp at the end doesn't it let's take a right here we approached that junction very fast then, didn't we? There we go. But yeah, she's uh, she's got some really good acceleration on it. It's night and day compared to the coaches. It really is. Now, it does take a bit of getting used to. We've got the side street here. Cars either side of us. That would be fairly tricky in one of the coaches, wouldn't it? A nice little area this is lots of wild grass and flowers growing to our left there we've seen that more and more now in public spaces knowing how the ai is at the moment i slammed on the anchors there you've seen a lot more of that in public places at the moment uh, to encourage ease believe it or not there we go right sticker in neutral uh we'll turn the engine off because you know i like uh to turn the engine off it does help when we get outside it just gets really noisy right then people 
Here we go. So Flensburg, Kiel, and then Schwerin. So let's get you lot booked in. We can still express check them in, even though we're not doing uh, a Flix bus route. Just obviously a bit of a different UI there. Bit of a different colour. Looks like we may have a full bus here, you know. That's if, if uh, everybody gets on and nobody stood waiting for the wrong bus. At the moment, we've got 100% accuracy. Nobody stood waiting for the wrong bus. And fortunately for us, we don't need to sell any tickets either, which is... Oh, you let us down, love. You let us down. Oh, but ever so disappointed. Well, that, that's everybody checked in. We'll jump back on board. For some reason, they always sit like that. Nobody ever sits next to that window. But anyway, we'll leave them to it. But we are good to go now. We'll uh, go through all the procedures as normal. So we'll shut the door. And uh, we'll start the engine up. Sticker in drive. We've got the side lights on and brakes off. Air conditioning's on. Obviously, there's no announcement for this uh, for this journey. And I think, with that, we are good to go. So let's make our way to Kiel. Uh, it is now 12.18 in the game. And we are expected to arrive in-game for four minutes past two. But, for some reason, I have never, ever, 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 even on my first ever journey, been late uh, in this game. Uh, I don't know why that is. But yeah, I've never been late. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever been late for a, a drop-off. Because I certainly haven't. Never been late. Always been far too early. Uh, I don't know why that is. So maybe it's because uh, I have my traffic density set at 75%. If I had it set at 100%, that might make a bit of a difference. I don't know. But, um... I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have your traffic set at 100%. Do you suffer being late? On your drop-offs, on your jobs, I'm going to try and uh, nudge me nose out here a touch. See if they will stop. Here's my chance, look. All right. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to do two things at once here. He's letting me go. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. That's because I'm trying to turn my head with the right thumbstick on the controller. And steer at the same time with my wheel. It would be great if we did have an option. I know the D-pad's now been taken up with cruise control and zoom in and zoom out. Um, but if we had that option just to flick our head left and right, how they would fit that onto the current control system, I don't know. I really don't know. I have considered plugging a mouse in. Um, just to turn my head left and right, that might be easier. Uh, just to use here on my steering wheel stand. I'll see if we can get a good view of any lights anywhere, but I can't see for the time being, so we may have to pop out like that just for the time being, just so we can see the lights. We've got a brand new number plate there in uh, celebration of reaching 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. CGD 1K. <laughs> I just thought it was nice and apt. And the police there letting us down. Now, come on. It's just getting absolutely ridiculous now. The, the AI, it's... It's spoiling the game. It really is. The, there was massive, massive improvements with previous updates. And since the last update, or hotfix... It has gone backwards. It has just got worse. It really has, and that has just completely ruined our journey. And now I've just reversed into a truck. And then, is he going to move? 
or not are we just stuck here now because I can't mount the pavement because there's barriers in the way they ain't gonna shift are they right there we go I swear it just completely ruins journeys for you you try your best to drive carefully and the AI just goes and ruins it like that it is so irritating anyway let's try and put that behind us for the time being as we try and get out of keel I'm sorry make our way to keel and uh, get out of Flensburg I think for the time being until we do get another update you have to be really careful um, crossing junctions just like we cross there because it's an absolute roulette it really is you see, now we, we've got the opportunity to cut left here. We just wouldn't do it, would we? Now, if I was an AI driver now, I'd already be, I'd already be there. I'd be cutting across and smashing into the oncoming traffic. Anyway, I said I'd shut up about it. I said uh, we'll put it behind us and then just enjoy the rest of the journey now. Is anyone going to stop? Yeah, that truck driver. And let us through. There we go, we're on his way again. Right, so I hope you're all well. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the game still, minus the uh, AI issues. Let's get some wipers on, because the rain has started. What, you, what routes have you been enjoying this week? Let me know if you've had any or discovered any routes have you been trying the routes that i tried in the live stream my past live stream which was a uh, inner city route with one of the uh, man inner cities have you tried one of the real routes that we uh, put out onto the channel last week I currently have been doing a lot of nighttime driving on the game. Um, within the achievements, there is a, achievements for driving. I think it's is it 24 hours, 48 hours, and 72 hours um, at night. Blimey, O'Reilly, I was all over the shop then, wasn't I? Um, so I've been trying. I'm very close to unlocking the 48 hour uh, achievement at the moment, and then we're going to go for the 72 hour. All at the same time by driving an MAN vehicle. Uh, so I can lock the mileage achievements slash trophies for that as well. So that is my main goal now, to get as many achievements unlocked in the game with me unlocking um, all the stops. And I think once I've got to a point where some of the achievements are crazy. I mean, they're absolute madness. I can't remember them off the top of my head. But um, I think once I've got them done, it will be waiting for um, console to get Denmark. Uh, at the time of recording, Denmark was released on PC. And also, they've had a update as well on PC today, so... Um, I think later on, after I've done my recording, I might jump onto YouTube and see if I can catch any videos about the update and see if it's how it's improved the game, if any, if at all. And see if I can check out some of the Denmark ma map as well. So, uh, some slowing down. Get that there. Honestly. <sighs> I mean, you try your best to enjoy a game, don't you? <laughs> but I do enjoy it. I really do enjoy this game. It is so cool. So enjoyable. And yes, we, we do have the issues, but I would still recommend it to anybody looking for a good uh, driving simulator. I really would. But if you've noticed as well, I've um, driving again without the uh, overlay 
for the sat nav. Uh, I'm finding this a lot more immersive uh, for an experience just using the sat nav that's built in to the buses. That's what I've been using. And then tracking my speed across the top there um, with that overlay there as well, which you can do but just by pressing Y, it brings up that overlay, and then you press B, it brings up the general information across the top, so it tells you what speed you're going, uh, what time it is, your destination, and what time you're going to arrive there as well. The only thing it doesn't tell you, um, which I, w I hope and I wish they do put, so if anybody from TML or Aerosoft or Zero Games is watching this, a nice little addition across the top there for people who do like to use this sort of immersive experience of not having that overlay of the sat nav on the screen um, how many miles is left that would be great because the way I've got to do it at the moment is to look down there and then zoom in so like that that's how we do it so we've got 62 kilometers left and that's how I have to do it, which I suppose is the right way of doing it. But you've got to pick your moments. You've got to pick your moments. You've got to be quick about it. But yeah, that's how I find out how long I've got left, how far I've got to go on each journey. So the last time um, I drove the Sprinter for you guys uh, is when I did a first look at it and it was first released. And we threw ourselves down the autobahn, and I think we got to 140 kilometers an hour. And we had to came to a bit of a stop due to some roadworks. I don't know how many of you have seen that video. If I remember, I will link it in the description. It, sorry, I will link it in the top now with the card. So click that, and uh, you'll be sent over to that video. But yeah, we got to 140 kilometers an hour. I'm not going to try it again today. If you want to see it, go check out that video there. Oh yeah, it uh, it's definitely got some speed. This little bus has. We've got someone coming up on the left, and we need to brake heavily. And we, are, we need to get over there. There we go. Just about did that. Another box van or box truck slowing everybody down and is this yet another one here I think he had been slowing people down now he's he's sped back up again we're gonna get across here just in case I've got a funny feeling we are going to be jumping off at a very shortly as we uh, head into Kiel and a little bit of overtaking to do yeah look we got a sign for Kiel Let's get back over and slow it down a touch. We are getting off now. Well, everybody's getting off because this is the end of the road. We've got some roadworks here, so everybody who's heading anywhere else other than Keel will be diverting through Keel, so nobody's got any option but go to Keel. This weather is horrific as well. Absolutely appalling weather. Do you think the weather makes a difference to your um, driving behaviour in game as well, guys? Do you find it a little bit more difficult to brake? Do you feel like it takes longer to brake if it's wet? Do you think those physics exist in the game? I think they do to a certain degree I think they do to a certain degree if it is wet it does take a little bit longer I find that could just be me I don't think we've got too far to go at all now until we get to Kiel A short distance to go. Can't quite make it out on that large screen that we've got there. This is one of the better onboard satellite uh, navigations that there are in the game. It's very, very big. 
a lot of the others are very small and you do have to pay very close attention all of the time we are, we are taking a left I think this is where our stop is going to be to pick up our next lot of passengers we'll uh, stop here for a second can you see the lights? yes we can I'd say this weather is appalling luckily it's not thundered or lightning yet so we're safe for now There we go, we're off. Luckily, the guys on the opposite side weren't coming at the same time. Well, they would have smashed into us. So here is Keel. Obviously, I've been here before to unlock it. But uh, can't quite remember it and how well it looks in the game. I wonder if there's anybody out there who plays this game who knows this map or who knows a particularly sit and knows their route oh my lord I can't get my words out who know their way around a particular city like the back of their hand I was thinking about this last night when I was uh, sat playing I wonder if there's anyone out there who knew their way around Kiel so without a sat nav could find their way to the motorway from one end to the other you know, from one end of Kiel to the other to get onto the motorway without any directions at all. There must be somebody out there who does know how to do that. There must be someone who's just literally driven around Paris or Amsterdam just to try and figure out how to get out of there without any directions if you can do that let me know down in the comments I would love to see you do that maybe it's something I should practice just driving around one city and uh, remembering landmarks and do it as part of a challenge maybe mm. I could do it live and people say drive to a petrol station uh, drive to a fast food place and have to remember all these little landmarks and drive to them. Mr. DMD driver couldn't make his mind up which lane he wanted to be in. It's like we're stopping again. More red lights. We didn't get very far then. And I've just bumped into the car in front. We've got a green again. If you do keep hearing a rumbling noise, that's my uh, controller on my steering wheel stand. Every time we have a bump, uh, the controller vibrates and makes that rumbling noise on the stand. Well, that's what that noise is, if you hear that. It's quite handy. A lot of lights in Kiel. You do find that though when you get into the cities there are lots of lights to contend with. Lots of traffic. And looks like we are coming up to our next lot of passengers here in Kiel. Quite a few, so there must be quite a few getting off here as well. Let's just have a look. Uh, eight boarding, five deboarding. We've got 12 on at the moment. So that was 15 in total, deboarding at Schwerin. Right then. Well, let's turn off our engine. Uh, we like it nice and quiet outside. There we go. Right, so let's go check these guys in. I mean, they've already left us. Right. right. Let's get you all booked Go. in. How do, fella? It's one. There she is. A good looking lady. How are you, fella? You're coming with us. How you doing, sweetheart? 
believe you are joining us. No, you're not. You stood waiting for the wrong bus. Guten Tag, sir. Guten Tag. Hey, there, love. Thank you. You're coming with us. Thank you. As well. And you as well, sir. And I'm jumping for joy. Fact that you may be coming on the bus with us. No. No, you stood waiting for the wrong bus, fella. Yeah, there's always one, isn't there? Hello. All right. And you as well, you dizzy cow. Right. So we will crack on. Looks like the rain has stopped as well, which is good news for us. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to CGD Travel. It's good to see someone actually sat next to the window. There she is, look. There she is. Ah, she's so pretty. So pretty. Right, anyway, less perving over that uh, passenger. We will jump in the vehicle, in our seat. And uh, we'll start her up. We will not need those wipers on anymore. We've got the door shut. Everything's on that should be on. Put those lights on for the passengers, just in case anybody wants to read. I don't think we need those side lights on anymore. Air conditioning's on. So let's stick her in drive. And we'll just have a quick look to see how far... Well, we won't tell us yet, will it? Of course it won't. We'll have a look in a minute when we uh, get a bit further away. And away we go. Before that pink car comes and ruins our day. There we go. Garbage disposal truck there. Some random grass growing in the middle of the city there as well. The sidewalk and in the road. As we head to Schwerin, it's now two minutes to two in game. And we have a rival time of five to five. So we will have a quick look now. Here's our opportunity. 193 kilometres, that won't take us any time at all in our little sprinter. We could put our foot down and break a few speed limits, I suppose. Who knows? Maybe. Once we get out onto the motorway. And we're off. There go the lights. I just thought sometimes as well it is nice to uh, put an unedited version on. Some people like to watch the whole journey when it's edited. Sometimes that can take the immersion away for the viewer uh, of watching an edited journey. Some people like to watch the journey in its entirety. And when they're quite a short little trip like this, I'm able to do that. For you guys, plus it saves me some time as well. But obviously any mistakes that I make uh, are left in there, so it is quite raw as well. Fuel station over there. Well, that's in Euros. Uh, diesel's quite expensive. It's not actually too expensive, actually. That fuel, considering it's in Euros. I can just about see the red light there above my rear view mirror. We should be indicating to let everybody know we're turning right as well. There we go. We're off. We are off. Straight into more lights. Fingers crossed we can get through them. Yes, we can. Got some more coming up here. We'll cross into that lane there. Luckily for us, there were no vehicles in that right-hand lane. There we go. I am trying my best to learn to quickly do that. Uh, obviously not using virtual mirrors. Trying to make it as true as experience as possible now. In this game now, I've, I've been playing it long enough now. I've got my wheel, got my controller in front of me. And obviously just using that to, to flick my head across. To quickly look in that mirror. We've always got that mirror uh, in view there. I, do, I wonder if those bottom mirrors there on the wing mirror 
See that bottom mirror there? I wonder if they work um, if I turn my graphic settings up to high for mirror quality. I've not actually tried that. If I get a chance, and if I remember, I will uh, definitely check that out. Because those little mirrors there are there, so if a vehicle is overtaking you, but in that blind spot, it helps you to see it in that blind spot. That's what that's there for. So it'd be interesting to see if that worked, if I did bump the graphic settings up ever so slightly. I think, in fact, what we'll do, while we pull up here in the wrong lane, we'll quickly chuck it um, in there, and we'll go into the settings. Let's quickly um, chuck the mirror quality up to epic. Yeah, it does. It does show me that blind spot. That's cool. And I can see my passengers in my rear view mirror as well. But there we go, that's quite nice actually. Might leave that on, hopefully it doesn't affect the game too much. Once again, I've not really messed with my graphic settings before starting my gameplay. Is he letting me through or not? Can't make his mind up. He was going to, then he changed his mind. There we go. Now we've got a limit of 100. Oh, we're going to put our foot down ever so slightly. And see how far we can get now. See how fast we can get whilst out on the open road. We will be getting complaints off our passengers. But we are up to 130 kilometres an hour already. 136, 37, 38, 39, 140, 141. I've lost control. Oh no, this is what happens. This is what happens when you go daft. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> oh dear me. We'll definitely be losing some points for that. Uh, that's what happens when you put your foot down, ladies and gentlemen, in a sprinter and go over 145 kilometres an hour. You lose control. There was nothing I could do about then. We bumped off that right barrier. And uh, after that, it was game over. It was. I'm putting my foot down again here now, look. Going a bit crazy. Let's slow it down. Let's Let's be sensible now. There we are. Cruise control's on. Cruise control is on. We'll uh, jump over into this lane here now. Nice and steady. Let's not be silly. Take the journey nice and steady now. No silliness. I think we might be able to do a little bit of overtaking. We've got a car coming up on the outside there. Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Are you going to go? I was going to say, because I waited to the last minute so I didn't have to break then. Everyone looks quite happy though there in the back from what I can see in my rear view mirror. Nobody seems to be unsettled in any shape or way. It's great to see the trucks though now into actually pulling something. It was random before how we used to see, you know, uh, truck cabs just pulling nothing all the time. But it is nice to see it now. I'll tell you what would be a good addition. Cars pulling caravans, that would be nice. <laughs> They're always a nuisance on the road, aren't they? Now, you could... You could uh, excuse them for going slow, like the uh, box trucks do. You would excuse a caravan driver, or a caravan tower, um, for going slow and holding up the traffic. Yeah, dev devs, if you're watching, can we have uh, caravans in the game, please? People towing caravans. Be a nice addition. Yeah, the game seems to be holding up well. We had that one micro pause at the beginning of the journey. 
up until now, she's running very well. I always seem to find, though, that when I am driving through Germany, there isn't much of an issue with this being the original map. There's never really many issues with it, apart from that one place a bit further down south, which I have shown off a couple of times. Where there is a real uh, frame rate issue. I think we are going to be getting off shortly. No, we are staying on. Go for a minute then. I thought we were getting off. No, we'll stay where we are for the time being. We are getting off now. There we go. Oh, hang on a minute. What am I indicating for? The, the road is going this way anyway. I'm losing my mind, you silly man. Or silly woman, I can't quite make out the driver. It's a good job I was paying attention then, otherwise... We would have been on the back seat with his passengers then. Crazy fool. I'm going to take a look in a minute to see how far we've got. I think we are still in the 100s. have a quick look no 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 oh no 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 we did that completely wrong and there's a funny sound effect there when you come out of zoom like an air brake and it's raining again I'm not going to get a chance to have a look at this uh sat nav am I I don't think we've got that far to go, if I'm completely honest. We're all right as well from what I could tell down there for a rest. I don't think we're going to need a break on this journey. Once I get a straight, I will check it out. Until then, I've got a bit of a bend, so I'm not going to take my eyes off the road just for the time being we've got a tunnel actually fingers crossed there's no invisible roads and the lighting behaves itself and those windscreen wipers are going to annoy us ever so slightly for the next minute or so while we pass through this tunnel lighting did behave itself as well to a certain degree we have got a limit of 100 but I'm sat now at a nice steady 80 kilometers an hour looks like there's been an accident here how one of those box trucks has uh, fell on its side at the speeds they go I'll never know but hey it's happened What's happening here in front of me now? I stayed in this right hand lane. It looks that way. I can cross into there. A lot going on in front of me at the moment. This bad bend, truck on my right hand side. And yeah, that sat nav as well, just to make sure that we don't. To, oh, we have got thunder and lightning as well now. This weather really has took a turn for the worst. Turn that indicator off. Right, this is our chance, I think. Fifty-seven kilometres to go. Not far at all. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. I am not going to keep you. But very much longer at all. I do love making this sort of content. 
especially when it's unedited as well you get to see the full journey really nice for you guys see if you fancy driving it yourself oh no oh no oh I thought I'd lost it then for a minute I think the rain really did take effect there I was slip sliding everywhere we have reached at the end of the motorway there as you can see showing 47 kilometers there to go it looks like we are on the outskirts of Schwerin. I've just ramped to that for some reason. My driving has just gone absolutely atrocious. I do apologise. For my regular viewers, not much change there, eh, guys? That's if you have made it this far. This weather's totally rubbish though, isn't it? It really is bad. I'd rather be in this minibus than out there in that. Very similar to some of the weather we've been having locally as well here in Manchester. A lot of the high temperatures have dropped and the rain's moved in, making it very muggy, very humid, and especially uncomfortable at bedtime. Just look at it though. Good lord, it's atrocious, isn't it? That car's got a roof like mine. My real life car has got a roof like that. Which is lovely and all, but blimey O'Reilly. Does it burn your head when it's nice weather? <laughs> I forgot all about it one day. When I got home and my wife said, Oh, your forehead's red raw. But I don't know why. Well, that's why. Do that bloody roof of mine. Don't really forgot about it. So now I drive it. It's got like a, a screen you can pull across. So I do drive around now when it's extremely sunny. Uh, with that screen pulled across. Otherwise, I end up in a lot of pain. So that 100 sticker on the windscreen, what is the purpose of that? Is that to tell me that this van was supposed to be limited to 100? Or that's as fast as you should go? That's the speed limit, don't go any faster than 100 or else you'll topple over. You think that's what it's there for? I have to slow down now, we are heading in to the town of Schwerin. We just got done for speeding. Even though I was slowing down, but obviously didn't get to the uh, speed that was required. But not for me to get caught speeding. I'm going to get in this lane here. Well, I'm sorry, guys, on the bus, but it looks like you're going to be leaving me shortly and out into this horrific weather out here in Schwerin. Unfortunately, I don't control the weather. Well, I do, actually. I put it on dynamic weather. I can change it for you if you want me to. So you get out in nice weather. I do have the power passengers to do that for you. But I'm not going to. Because I have turned your comments off, so I can't hear you whinge and moan. And I can only presume that you have been muttering under your breaths when I toppled over and the couple of accidents that I have had on my way here. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, for those that don't know, if you press your pause button and then scroll up on your phone, um, 
which it's not letting me do. But there we are. I can uh, you can highlight a little weather icon there. Press A, and you can change the weather. If I wanted to, I could make it sunny. Like that. There we go. The rain has stopped. Easy as that. So these people get out in a nice sunny swearing. You see? If I was and if I what completely miserable when I pull up again at the bus stop, which is literally in about two minutes time, I could turn the rain back on for them. But I'm not going to. I'm not that evil. Take a left. Petrol station over there, but I think we're going to be all right for the time being. We're not going to need any fuel. We are speeding again. Heading for another ticket. We're going to take a right. I'll have a quick peek. Only three kilometres to go, so we're literally round this corner now. And that will be us done for this journey. For those that are wondering, those yellow diamonds there... Um, I've been told by a resident of Germany, those yellow diamond means you have the right of way at this junction. So if you obviously want to go straight across, you have the right of way. Everybody has to stop for you, which you would imagine be the case anyway. I think it was Michael Smith uh, who comes into a lot of my live stream and regularly comments on the videos. Uh, he's a resident of Germany. And uh, he told me that in one of my uh, comments. Here we are, so here's the stop. Once again, we have the right of way. And there is our stop there. There we go. One journey complete. So we will let everybody off. There we go. And we will jump off ourselves. He says. There we go. There's all our passengers done and dusted. And that is us done, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. It really does help the channel in more ways than you can imagine. And also, if you haven't already and you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That was another great way of supporting the channel. And hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.